If you're worried about privacy, I get the instinct to just pitch this thing to the curb, but it's still a pretty useful device. So here are five Google Assistant settings that you can turn off to have a smoother and more private experience. Number one, continued conversation. Sometimes the mics on your Google speaker will keep listening after you're done talking. This is intentional and under the right circumstances it can be useful. It's called continued conversation. Basically, if you wanna give multiple commands in a row or add a bunch of things to your shopping list or control multiple smart home devices, one after the other, you can without needing to say the wake words over and over, but that means that the mic stays hot for a few seconds after you're done talking. If you're worried about privacy, that's not great. So here's how you can turn it off. Fortunately, it's off by default, but you still might wanna know this in case you or a family member accidentally turned it on at any point. In the Google Home app, open your profile by clicking on the profile pic in the top right, then go to assistant settings followed by the assistant tab, scroll down and you'll find continued conversation and you can just toggle it off right there. Note that this might be a little different for some Android phones, where you can just scroll straight down from the assistant settings without going to a different tab. Number two, sharing your recordings. As of now, unless you opt in, Google won't save or share your audio recordings. That's a nice default. But if you opted in previously, maybe during setup, if you were just racing through and clicking on whatever so you could have your device ready to go, well, here's how you can change that now. Click that same profile icon in the home app, assistant settings again. This time you want the U tab and your data in the assistant should be right near the top. Here you can manage all kinds of privacy settings. Scroll down for recordings where you can save and delete them and you can also turn off sharing. Number three, turn down the wake word sensitivity. Let's say you've turned off continued conversation, but you're still noticing the mic is hot sometimes when no one said the wake word and you didn't ask for a dang thing. Leave us alone, Google. The problem could be wake word sensitivity. Fortunately, it's customizable, so you can turn it down, or if you are giving commands and it's not responding, you can turn it back up too. Either way, here's how you find the setting. Profile picture, assistant settings, assistant tab again, scroll down, you'll see it. And I don't actually wanna say the name of the button cause I don't wanna say the wake words and wake your sensitive smart speakers. You'll find five options from least to most sensitive. So you may need to play around just a little bit to see which one works the best for the volume at which you talk. Number four, shutter the camera. Don't worry, there's no camera in your smart speaker that we know of, but your Google smart display might have one. The Nest Hub Max, the Lenovo smart display, the JBL Link View all have cams. Fortunately, the third party displays have a physical shutter that you can just slide in front of the camera when you're not on a video call. The Nest Hub Max doesn't have that. It was one of the things we didn't like in an otherwise likable product, but you can still kill the camera with a switch. Webcams can get hacked. So if you're worried about privacy, taking the extra precaution should only take a moment. And number five, turn off ad personalization. While you're managing what info is shared, you might as well turn off personalized ads so it's not being shared with advertisers. Go back to that profile pic, you tab, your data in the assistant, scroll down, turn them off. You can also manage what activity is saved. From settings, tap the three dots and go to activity controls. Here you can see and control saved web activity, location history, and more. Fine tune until you're comfortable. And then you can go back to having frank discussions with your Google smart speaker about who needs to leave who alone and uncalled for outbursts and the like. Google can collect a lot of data, but now you have the information you need to control what is saved and shared. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to CNET's YouTube channel. And thanks again.